we add a venue to the cloud manager in order to keep track of all of the, the location information and to have the, all the reference also on the, the person to contact in case of maintenance. And we would be able to reuse all this information in all the proximity interaction rules as well that we set up. Now we create like a logical beacon device. So uh, we're like a matter of we set, we associate it to a venue. And, and we set, you know, for this the major and the minor, of course, you can change the proximity UID. And then we just save it, like the rest is gonna be completed automatically when we configure the beacon. Now we move on to uh, the application, which actually enables you to configure the physical beacon. The beacon are detected in the radar. You can see, you can browse by venues, and, and see the, the beacon that you want to, to, to update. Then you click on the button to make the beacon connectable, connect the beacon, and all the information, now you can read it and edit. So you're gonna have like the, you can edit manually and then upload to the cloud. And we save like a danger. Or you can apply, actually, the configuration that we just set up on the cloud to your beacon. That would be saved automatically. And then you're done. You now have configured your first beacon.